Hello guys. Tonight we are making a crowd pleasing dessert. Yes. That's apple oatmeal brown dessert. So come with me, let's start. Let's get a few people on here and we can get started. Once you join, do not forget to share. Share, 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 because sharing is fun. Well, we got one person on here. And to make this dessert, we're going to be using apples. You can use golden delicious apples, preferably. I already peeled them and sliced them. I will be using old-fashioned oatmeal. Here we go. We'll be using some rum. Welcome, Marty. Marty Abbott. Welcome to Liza's Kitchen. Here is our light brown sugar. Butter. And also, I'm live on YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Facebook. We have brown cinnamon, brown nutmeg, cloves, wine, and of course, our all purpose flour. So, let's get started. We are first going to begin with our. Apples, which we already peeled and sliced, so they're here. We're gonna cut this line, add the juice to it. So, slice my line, and we're gonna use about two tablespoons of lime juice. So, I'm gonna put the spoons of them here. We are making dessert. Where is everybody? Share, share, share. Can you do what I told you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Squeeze it out. Squeeze it out. Okay. Here we go. I was trying to add that to the apples. And we're using two tablespoons of wine juice. We have the wine juice that I squeezed. Put it all over. Two, we barely made it. So that's two. We are going to stir this. Make sure it's coating all the apples and evenly distributed. We're going to add one third cup of granulated sugar. You can make this Thanksgiving, you can make it for your family. It's a dessert you can make for a family reunion. Even if you, if you can bake, you know, some people say, Oh, no, not to bake, or I can bake. This is a very easy dessert you can make. And everybody will think you can bake. This is that easy to make. So don't worry about it, just follow these steps. And People will be asking for seconds, but they will always request. I have some of the apple seeds in here. Request for this amazing dessert. We're also going to add some salt, a half teaspoon. And I'm going to use the pink salt for this. Welcome, Lauren, Lillian. If you're on YouTube watching, say hi. Sticks are always never away from me. Yes, 
Also going in. Hello. Welcome, Chuck. Do not forget to share, share, share. We're going to use some clothes. If you don't have the clothes, you can omit it. But I recommend you do add it because it gives it a different kind of flavor. So we're using one eighth of the clothes as well. And do not forget to share, because sharing is caring. We'll also use some ginger powder. Ginger powder. Give me one second, let me grab my ginger powder. I had it here, but I don't. Add some ginger powder, and also we're going to use one fork of the ginger powder. That's ginger. And we are going to stir. But we make sure this is well coated. was just about to say, I bet it smelled good. <laughs> yes, it does. And we sprinkled the flour out over the apples to the other ingredients. And we are doing this better. Stir, stir, stir. It's 
soil is well coated. Mom, did you read Twinkle Scott's um thing? Twinkle, what Twinkle Scott said. I was just about to say, I bet it smelled good, lol. Oh yeah, this right. Oh okay. Yes, Twinkle, it smells mm, so good. I'm gonna transfer this in here into my baking dish. Just grease the dish a little bit. We're going to make the crust for the pie. So that's the next step. We are making the crust for our dessert. We're going to use the recorded cups of We'll use one cup of that. Use a half cup of tea. And we'll do 
say how proper about it. And this tells us that a half cup is eight tablespoons. Oh, Susan can't can't wall on YouTube said hi Eliza. Hello. Name What's Su name again? Susan can't well on YouTube. Hello, Susan. Oh, that's Mama Sue. Hello, Mama Sue. I'm live on YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> I'm doing both today. Hello. How are you doing, Mama Sue? I can't read the YouTube comments, but my son is reading it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just helping her out, guys. Yeah. And I took, you know, part of the stick of butter, so I'm going to use this right here. I'm going to put it up a little bit here as we go. I'm going to use the half cup of brown sugar. More cinnamon, yes, small cinnamon. Half teaspoon cinnamon. With this part, if you have a food processor, you can use it. I'm just going to use my hands because it's not that, you know, we don't have that much crust in here. We are also going to add some salt. And I always measure the salt I need for the crust or whatever I'm making. I'm going to use my hands, so I'll wash my hands again. Just so for those of you who are mm -hmm. funny about that, washing my hands. We're going to mix all of this together. Welcome, Mama Sue. <laughs> Let's look at the Facebook now. Okay, we're mixing this together. This is our crust. Like I said, if you have a food processor, use that. I do have one, however, I don't see why I should be using it for this. It's not a lot. Versus, I can do it this way. You know, you can do it. So you're trying to mix everything together, okay? I like this book better. Don't see here. Don't see you here and saw the YouTube book special. Hope you are doing well. I'm doing wonderful, Mama Sue. Welcome, K Book. Welcome, everybody. Please share, share, share. Invite your friends. Give me some hearts and likes so that the algorithm will know that I'm live. And others who know, because Mama Sue didn't even really know we were live. She was on Facebook, uh, YouTube. She saw the YouTube notification. And also, if you are not following me, guys, go ahead and follow the page. Because that also helps. Or oh, there's also a notification. You know the three dots on top of the video? It helps notify you. It will say all notifications and you click here. You click it so that you get notified each time I'm live. Needs a little bit of flour here. Oh, Erica Mobley said, what are we making on YouTube? We are making apple, oatmeal, rum, cobbler. Or oh, apple oatmeal rum crisp. It's a holiday dish. You can use it to wow your guests. It's a crowd pleasing dessert. You can make it for your family during the holidays. Thanksgiving. So guys, it's now time to get your crust all over this. We're gonna just make sure this is evenly distributed. 
this is the apple mixture we did earlier in the pie dish. Oops. And just make sure you spread it out as much as you can. Like I said, I use my hands, but if you have a food processor, I can use it. Make sure this covers everywhere. Doing is making sure this is evenly distributed, guys. Oh, Erica Mobley said, Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> Like I said, if you are someone who does not eat sugar or, you know, you're on a diet or whatnot, you can substitute the sugar for stevia, which is a healthier option. Okay? This is what it looks like. Everybody see? We're going to stick that in the oven. So I'll turn this around. Turn that around. Ta da! Here we go. It's going in the oven. It's already preheated my oven at 375. This is going to go in for 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Is there a way you can turn that around? 
Community. Let's go sit down and talk, guys, while we wait for this amazing dessert. Sorry guys. Did you get all these things out of the way? Alright guys, we're now waiting for the for the dessert to get done. It's in the oven, so bear with me. Let's just talk right now. So, guys, I was um, I saw over the news this this incident with this girl who went to Mexico with her friends and ended up, you know, getting killed. Or we don't know if she was murdered or we don't know what happened to her. But she's no longer with us did you all hear that story is so sad and heartbreaking and i was talking to my daughter about it you know we live in such a cruel world that you can't trust anybody to be your friend the only person you can trust is god right now because um the people who pretend like they love you but they don't so you can and it sounds like they said it was a they think it's a foul play. Does anybody know about the story about the girl from Charlotte who got either married or got killed in Mexico when she went went on a trip? Has anybody heard about that news? I just want to you know talk about it a little bit. I thought it was really sad. The video all over Facebook, yes. Twinkle said the video is all over Facebook and it's a shame. Yes, it is. And it's sad. It's so sad. Oh, Tanisha Yancey knows about it. She said that was so... It's very sad. It's unbelievable. I cannot imagine. So you trust your friends and go travel with them. That's why I don't have friends because I've been hurt so much in the past. I don't even want a friend anymore. It's sad, but, but it's true. I've had so many friends that they all end up not being real. Or they, you know, sometimes, I don't know, people are weird. We live in such a cruel world that it's sad that you can't trust anybody but God. So I was telling my daughter about it because she's in college. And this young girl, you know, went through all this. And the family didn't even know it. I don't know the story. Mama Sue, it's all over. Just put in Google or just put it in a Facebook search. Type Charlotte Gale, because she's from Charlotte. Charlotte Gale get married in Mexico. Just put Charlotte Gale, she, it will come out. Oh, it would just popped up and I looked it up on Google. Oh, okay. It pops up automatically. See? It, it says FBI up. now investigating Charlotte woman's death in Mexico. There you go, my son. My 11 year old best. Put it in and it popped up. It's all, you never know who your real friends are. Yes, we cannot trust people any longer. Is there even a real friend? I've been, in the past, I've tried to, you know, I'm somebody that when I love, I love hard. Even if you're my friend, I'll do everything and I don't think any evil for you. You know, but people end up backstabbing me so much so many times that I had to just let go and say I don't want any more friends in Mom, my show life. Them how because beautiful it, she is. this is the girl. See how beautiful she is. My son just opened it up on his phone. She is beautiful. Okay, we've seen it. There you go. She is beautiful. 
and look at what happened to her and i have daughters i have my oldest and i have my youngest i have two girls so i cannot imagine what the family is going through right now and they have to pay so much money six thousand dollars just to get the body back to the united states and they still don't even know exactly what happened by the viral video we see some other lady or uh, whoever it is i don't know beating her up and kicking her and different it's just so sad how can human beings be that wicked and where were the friends when all of this happened oh. is this what the world have come to so be careful guys of those you call your friends be careful because they, sometimes they, in my language they say that this is a tree saying a proverb which means that if you're gonna get bitten you're gonna get bitten by an insect or by an animal that lives in your cloth or lives in your clothing and what that means is people closer to you have more access to hurting you than people who are distanced from you so those that you call your friend and you think that they are perfect they are the ones who will hurt you before people who are far away from you so be very careful guys and this is this is a lesson for even us as adults and i've been through it so many times i just you know i don't want anything to do with friends anymore i don't hi bye i will love on you from a distance but we're not going to be buddy buddy to where i tell you everything and let you know my every move no not happening not anymore i'm sorry i'm not ignoring your comments twinkle scott said first tanisha said you never know who your real friends are true and tanisha twinkle said twinkle scott said then so-called so friends had nerves to go to her parents house and send their condolences the world how oh my goodness they have the nerve they had the nerve to go there after all this i mean that's your friend but you don't know what happened to her and according to the mom all the stories don't add up each one of them has a whole different story now that's where you know that there's a foul play because if you all were together why are the stories not the same you know and then mama sue said evil satan is real i tell you satan is real and he's working over time these days so be careful welcome kim robertson i couldn't imagine what went through her mind while she was getting beat up by her friend oh i saw the video i watched it but towards the end it was so heartbreaking because i kept imagining if it was my daughter that's all that kept going on in my head it's so sad this lady was kicking him the back of the neck. My goodness. How evil, how callous can you be? <sighs> Welcome, Pinas. Welcome. Kim said, hello, everyone. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? This is so true. Pinas said, hello. Twinkle said, amen. Everybody. Kimberly said, everybody and your friend. That's right, everybody and your friend, and that's on period. Everybody and your friend. There are a lot of fake people around here. So that's why I keep to myself. And I don't make any friends. I don't want to make any friends because the world is so cruel. And the people who hurt you the most are the ones that are close to you. You know? Uh, okay, there's somebody typing something here. I don't speak Arabic. Oh, I don't know what you're typing, but God bless you, whatever it is. But I'm going to skip on, you know, because I, I don't understand your language. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. I see your comment, but I can't read it. If you could, and there's no translation here. Usually there should be something that translates it. But I'll figure it out when I'm done with the life. But this was, I felt like this was such a sad story that I needed to talk about. Because we as parents, our children leave the house and, and always pray over your kids. Pray over your kids. I constantly pray over my kids. Because when they leave the house, you don't know. 
was going on after they left your hands oh i know what the guy yeah. said mom he okay, said okay enough okay yes ma'am <laughs> yeah you know when they leave your hands they, you don't know who's in, whose hands they are in so you you commit them in god's hands and you plead the blood of jesus over them every time because it's scary and i see uh, tanisha said oh what she oh what she thought whilst they let her lay there in the airbnb dying oh people are so wicked man that is unreal and kimberly said jealousy is a terrible trait oh yes you're right about that it is a terrible trait and people are so jealous i mean I, do, I can't believe why you should be jealous of another person. God created us all uniquely. What you have, I don't have. What I have, you don't have. And it's okay. You know, the world will not be, will not be balanced if we all had the same traits or we all were made the same way. Just why would you even be so jealous to that extent? At that point, you are evil. Twinkle Scott said, yes, indeed. Mama Sue said, yes, I pray for my son and plead the blood of Jesus over him. Every day. Every day. Plead the blood. That's right, Mama Sue. You're right. I do that every day over all my four children. Because it's, the devil is, is working overtime. You can't trust nobody. Too many jealous hearts people. Yes, people are so jealous in this world. You know, you think you don't have anything you know, what do I have for somebody to be jealous about me or jealous? You know, but people still find a way to be jealous. They find a way. Even when you don't have anything, they see what, you, because sometimes we carry things that we don't see ourselves, that other people see in us. And some people are so evil that when they see that thing, it, it just makes them, mm, I don't know how to describe it. You have a smart little man right there. He's quick to look up something. <laughs> That's true, Tanisha. If I didn't stop him, he'll keep going and going. And <laughs> what? I know what he said. I what did he read say? It. Okay, read it. Don't wander here and there. If you have faith, then do call. Panic G has a solution to all your problems. Take it from Panic G. At 100% Solution WhatsApp. What are you reading? I translated his thing on Google Translate. Oh, the guy who... Yeah. Oh, my goodness. My son is translating what... Read it again, son. Come on, man. No, no wonder here, uh -huh. there. If you have faith, then do a call once. Panda G has solution to all your problems. Take it for Panda G. Oh, he's advertising. Solution. WhatsApp so, number. Oh, and it says no uh -huh, one... Don't read it. We're not advertising for any anybody. Yeah, either. but this part is good. Only one place of powers of meditation see uh, okay. okay. If there is a problem, there is a solution. Okay. Well, what my <laughs> son just oh, read God. is all that you saw on the screen that some random person typed. He was able to go to Google Translate and translated everything. So it sounds like this person is trying to advertise. The only man that has the right to be jealous is our heavenly father God. Yes, he said he's a jealous God. He is the only one who has a right to be jealous. And he said, do not serve any other gods but him. And he is a jealous God. And that's okay. That's he's you right, Kim. He's the only one who has a right to be jealous. Why are you jealous over your fellow human being? Can, have you created a human being before? Do you know what it takes? What is the jealousy about? Get off it. Get off it. There's no point. People get so jealous to the point that they want to hurt somebody. Hey. Mm -mm. And it hurts. It and hurts. it hurts. Like, I've been hurt by friends so much who were so jealous. And I don't see what I even... What do I even have that you're so jealous? But apparently, like I said, sometimes you don't see what you carry. Other people see what you carry, you know? And also, it could be the light in you. Yeah. Some people can't stand the light in you. When they see you, they see the light, you know? And the favor of God upon your life, and they just want to destroy you. But be, be, be watchful. Watch your back and watch people you call your friends, because... <laughs> 
some people are, are very wicked. They will go to any extent to, you know, eliminate you. They will. True. They will go to any extent. They don't care. Whether they set it up, whether they do it themselves, it could even be spiritual too. You know? So just watch, 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 watch your back People and also be careful. Anything. You know, I just keep to myself, and I, I like it that way. I don't go anywhere. I don't have any friends. I mean, I have some people, acquaintances, but I don't have friends anymore. I used to, not anymore. After I've been hurt so many times, I learned my lesson, and I learned it the hard way, trust me. Because I'm the kind who is always, you know, very nice, very kind, and want to go the extra mile. But apparently people don't think that of me. So when you start trying to get uh, you know, associated with certain people and you see that that's not what they want for you, you stay away. The only, okay, Mama Sue said, God created us all with unique talents and gifts. We should love one another, appreciate others and Learn from each other. Jealousy is not of God. Definitely not of God. Definitely not of God. Definitely not of God. Definitely. Yeah. And once you see you're getting jealous of somebody, mm, you need you need to rethink. You need to get deliverance. You need to sit down and seek what is going on with you because that's not of God. We'll continue with the replay. Have a great night, everyone. Oh, have a good, great night, Kimberly. Our apple oatmeal round crisp is in the oven. It should be coming out here shortly, and we're chit-chatting before you join us. So maybe you might watch the whole replay because I made it in the beginning. Excuse me. And I'm on live on YouTube as well. Is anybody typing in again? Because we forgot to read the comments. <laughs> Let's read if anybody has said anything. Somebody was on there outside Mama Sue. There was okay. A nope, okay. nobody said anything. Okay, good. There was somebody called Erica Mobley, but she hasn't said anything. Okay. Twinkle, Erica, I'm not ignoring you. You can type anything and I'll respond from this end. Twinkle said, that's me too. I know that's right. Better to stick to yourself. Now, Kimberly, you have a good night. Sleep tight and I plead the blood over you. God bless you. Bye, Kimberly. And uh, Twinkle Scott said, okay, I already read that. Vivian is watching, Vivian Brown. Welcome, Vivian. We were, we just made the apple oatmeal rum crisp, which is in the oven. And um, chit chatting, we're talking about this video that went viral about this girl who, you know, got beat up by her friends in Mexico and she died. And, you know, it's been going around. And I have kids as well, so I was concerned. I was talking about it. Everybody was just, you know, saying they're part of the story and what they heard. Hey, you. You're on late. Yes, I sometimes come on late. I've been on late a couple of times while I made dessert. And today I'm making some dessert as well. Vivian. Mama Sue say yummy. <laughs> yummy in my tummy. And Vivian say yes. Lana. Oh, you're welcome, Lana. Kada people can be just be so jealous that they do things to them to just make them feel better. True. People are so jealous that they do things to feel better within themselves. They do anything. They'll go to any extent. As long as they get their happiness. You know, they'll do something yeah. for you to, you know, they want to bring you down. And when they bring you down, that's what makes them happy. They, they are sick in the head. You know, you're right, Lana. Kara, thank you for your contribution. That is so true as well. Mm. So let's be watchful. She was beautiful. Yes, she was. My son just showed a picture of us on here. And if you want, I'm sure you've seen her, so you know it. Yes, misery loves company. 
says Tanisha. You're right, Tanisha. Misery loves company. And it's all over the world. I mean, even on social media, people see other people and are jealous. But you know, social media ain't real. What you see on here is not real. Somebody could oh, come on real. here and be a whole different person than in real life. So people actually see people on social media and judge them and, and, and get jealous. What are you jealous about? What you're seeing may not be real. Uh -huh. uh, people know. just come on here and be another person. And they they could be just like That's you. not even them. And also, 24, there's 24 hours in a day and you're only seeing two hours or one hour of that person's life or a few minutes or seconds of their life and you think you really know them? No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> so don't come on here and be jealous of somebody and act, you know, see them and say, oh, look at her. Oh, look, she thinks she's this and she thinks she's that. You don't know me like that. It takes a lot of time to actually know somebody. You can't just see a few minutes of my life and think you know me. No, you don't. I could be a whole different person when I leave this life. When I, this life goes off, I could be a whole different person. You hear me? So don't, do not go by what you see on social media. It could, it could, it could be, it couldn't be, you know, it could be something else altogether. Welcome, Chris. Delia, Twinkle Scott said people pretend all the time. Yes, people pretend all the time. People pretend. I mean, even in marriages, you could marry somebody and they could be a whole different person. And you will never find out till years and years of the marriage. They'll show you their true colors. So people can pretend. They can say they are somebody and the next minute they are somebody else. So be careful how you trust people. Do not just trust people, only trust God. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying that completely don't trust anybody because that also, then it becomes a hold in your life. So you're just there, I don't trust nobody, I don't, you know, but be careful. You can trust, but be careful. And don't give your 100. Chris Dell is watching. Bobby Hodnett is watching. Thank you all for tuning in. We're waiting on this dessert to be done. I wish I could. Jenny, can you check the time? Do you know how to check the time on it to see the where time? we are? Yeah, on the oven. Um. You just press where it says cooking time or something, just once, and it's going to tell you what is, how many minutes is left. Oh, yeah, time. Yes. It says 1014. It's about 10 minutes. Okay, we have about 10 minutes left. So let's continue talking. So let's talk about trust. You know, you shouldn't trust everybody you see either. Don't, don't trust everybody you see because um, what do they say? They, they, they are people who are uh, what? Wolves in sheep's, sheep's clothing, right? Is that is that the right expression? Is it wolves in sheep's clothing? People pretend. People can be something else. And it's hard. You, you just have to be careful. You know, that's right, Vivian said that's right, yes. Thank you, Vivian. So, Twinkle said yes. Mama Sue said that's correct. So be careful people that you trust, because I believe this girl was traveling, she was excited. I'm going on a trip to Mexico with my buddies, with my friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your buddies. They Not have already pre-calculated everything. You know, they may have already pre-calculated everything. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, from my opinion as a man and my little bit of discernment that I have, I feel like this was pre-calculated because how can you all have different stories? Like Twinkle said, 
or was it initials that they had the nerve to go to the parents and give their condolences? But then they said it was alcohol poisoning. Hey, alcohol poisoning and her back. That was probably premeditated. You're right, Mama Sue, but then her, uh, her spinal cord or her neck or something is broken. I'm not sure. Something, either her neck or her spine was broken from the autopsy, you know. So how is that related to alcohol? You've got this poor girl there and did this to her. And you think you, you, you're going to be free in your life. <laughs> No, we're surely going to pay for it someday, if not here, up there. You know. But she being, you know, the young girl that she was, she was thinking they are her friends. Little did she know. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. they, you reap what you sow. Yes, you reap everything that you... You, you, you sow, you're going to reap on this earth even before you go. You will reap it, definitely. You will. Everything. Hmm. Wonder how we feel every night we go to bed. Knowing that they did that to me. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they're guilty. Maybe they feel guilty. Maybe they don't. Some people don't even feel guilty about what they do. But some people do. That's true. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Some of the people don't even, they do, they are so wicked to you, they don't even have any guilt, no remorse, nothing. Excuse me, but they behave like they are animals. Because as a human with a heart in you, how do you feel when you hurt somebody or you do evil to someone? How do you go to bed every night? I would probably kill myself for doing that. Mm. It's just sad. It's sad, but you won't be doing that either. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, God forbid, I wouldn't be doing that. Mm. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's my 11 year old contributing as well. Oh, mm. That's not how mommy and daddy is training you to be anyway. So, you know. That's so sad. Does anybody have any questions? Do you all like me coming on at this time? It's pretty much going to be on Fridays, you know, during the week. You know, I come on just, you know, in the afternoons and on Fridays I'll be doing the evening thing. If that's okay with you all, let me know. Is this a good time to be coming live? Are you all ready for that dessert? Huh? 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, the comments sometimes are delayed, so if I'm not... Nobody said anything on YouTube so far. Okay. And guys, have you shared? Remember, sharing is caring. Have you shared the video? Sharing is caring. People don't share your video when you are being positive. You know, they share it when you are being negative. I came on here and I was going ba 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 and this did that and uh, then you see the video will be full of people watching. When there's negativity, when there's positivity, they don't share it. Yep, seems like we are all gone. Just chilling, watching your life. <laughs> Oh, seems like we are all gone. Just chill, watching your life. I see. Yeah. But when there's positivity, people don't like to share it. I don't know why. Oh, you're just going to chill at home. Okay, Tanisha. Tanisha said, seems like we are, we are all going to just chill at home, watching your life. Cool beans. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. But while you're watching, make sure you share too. Mom, can I say something? If 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 
everybody in this world had kindness and everybody was kind. Mm -hmm. Nobody, in, everything in this world, it would have been like the best world ever. Nobody would mm -hmm. have to worry about it's anything. True. Nobody have to be worried about killing, food poisoning, all that stuff. Nobody would have to worry about anything because nobody would ever try to hurt them. And there's just so many people, so much people around you that just want to come and grab and hurt you and behind your back. And it hurts. And it just, it's not a good thing to do. And you shouldn't be doing it because... One day you're going to be judged, and one day you're going to be um, judged by God. One day, one day. Come on now, <laughs> preach, son. One day you're going to know what you did wrong, and you'll regret everything. True. Mm-hmm. You're right. <laughs> Miss Twinkle said, I love your kids. Jalen, she says she, oh, Thank Tanisha you. said you are so smart. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. The seven-year-old, I think she's a little sleepy. So she's quiet. She's the one-year-old usually here. Now, that's the 11-year-old. They sound the same. <laughs> He's smart and adorable, too. Oh, Mama Sue said, yes, smart. And Vivian Brown said, oh. Thank you, everyone, for the nice compliments. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Guys, follow her Patreon and watch her YouTube She's and her TikTok and subscribe to her YouTube channel. He's trying to advertise for his mom to say, guys, follow her Patreon and her YouTube and her TikTok too. Oh, thank you, son. They can hear you. Well, I had to edit the video, so. Yeah, he edits my videos, believe it or not. For YouTube, he does. Well, and for some of like TikTok and some. And some stuff. of my TikTok. Yep, that's him. Cause sometimes my mom needs help when she does it, cause she doesn't know how to edit it. So she asks me. Yeah, I'm gonna tell all my business here, guys. He says sometimes my mom needs help. Oh, oh, Mama Sue said that's amazing. She said that's amazing. Thank you, Mama Thank Sue. You. He's a sweetheart when he wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh huh? <laughs> yeah. Are you okay, Adele? You're awful quiet. She gets a little jealous when I praise her brother. You help too. Mm -hmm. You do you help me too. The other day you actually helped mom. You're raising your kids busy. right. I love it. I know that's right. Support your mama and nothing like your mama. Oh, that's true. And nothing. Mm hmm Mamas. Yep, yep. Oh, so today, what did everybody do? I was making my hot sauce in the morning all day. Because I, you know, I was working on my orders. Oh, there goes our dessert. It's done. 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 <laughs> Let me get my slippers on. It is done. So can you take the things back, the, um, the tripod back? Sure. No, because when you know when I get up, you're going to say, why didn't I let you know? I'm letting you know now, so we put it back on. <laughs> We're going to check on the dessert. Don't go away. It's done. Wait. Hold on. I'll carry them. Okay. You take that. I'll take the tripod and turn the ring light. Yes, sir. Twinkle said, I made two, eight sweet potato pies for Thanksgiving. Wow, that's a lot, Twinkle. Are you making it for family or? Oops. Oops. Jalen, I need some help with this one. Come in, Mom. So Justin. Now with this, I can't see. So everybody, can you all see? Yeah. 
some nice photos soon. Guys, so you can see what I'm cutting. 
Ice cream, they come on, you know, those things. Mm. Mill Ram Crisp. And that's the ice cream to go with it. Now we're going to taste test. Let's taste test. Let me give you all a bite first. Father, bless this for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me give you all a bite. Here you go. That's your bite. Here you go. Here you go, Facebook. That's your bite. Here you go, YouTube. That's your bite. Fantastic. You need to try this, guys. Make this for your family at home. Look how good this is. Melt in your mouth. Mmm. 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 This is so good. Three bites. You're gonna have some from here. Guys, wait for me. Tastes good. I don't want some of my sister. Mm. Here. I'm taking rest. Mm -hmm. Take a mm. bite. It actually tastes really good. It tastes really good. Trust me. She ain't lying. 
Exactly. It's a whole pie that they want my plate, Tanisha. You sure, Tanisha, you want to be adopted into this family? Are you sure? <laughs> What's Lucy Giannini, you're welcome. You have to watch the replay. There's a lot of spices I use. There's ginger, there's cloves, there's cinnamon. You have to watch the replay. Yep. But it's delicious. Mm. And it is worth the wait. <laughs> My son says it's worth the wait. The wait. It's worth the wait. Mmm. That's the rest of my week that I added. So most of these ingredients, you have them in your pantry. Make them at home. And let me know what you think. And also send me your photos so I can post it on my story. Because I love to see that you actually try my recipe. Mm. Mm. That oatmeal. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Mm. It's delicious, it's crunchy, it's good. The salt and the and the sweet, salty and sweet at the same time. It goes so well. Excellent dessert for, for Thanksgiving. Like I said, use the golden delicious apple. It turns out amazing. And this is the type of rum that I use. But if you have any kind of rum, it will work as well. Just a little. Thank you all for spending this evening with me and making this dessert, amazing dessert. And this is a crowd pleaser. Even if you cannot bake, you know, you make this over the holidays and your family will be wow. They'll say, oh, come on, Tanisha. Wow, are you a baker? Your dessert is good. And they'll ask for a second, this is so good and rich and so nice. Have a great evening, Mama Sue. I'm going to leave you all here shortly as well. I'm going to spend the rest of the night with the family, watch a movie, and serve them some of this. I'm going to try and take photos with my phone, even though I cut part of it. But this is what it looks like. See the apples? Let me give you a close-up. And it smells so good. This it whole does. house smells amazing right now. So if you're inspired to try any of my recipes, I love to see you post photos, tag me in photos, or share photos with me so I can post on my story. And um, like I said, every Friday I'll try to come live around this time and make dessert some kind of dessert, you know. And if that is awesome, let me know. Give me some hearts and likes, guys. If you all like what you see, give me some hearts and likes. Spoil me with some hearts and likes. Thank you. Someone said they care. That's good, too. Any of the emojis, just hit it. <laughs> Thank you all. I love you all. God bless you. I might come for breakfast tomorrow. I may not come. I don't know. But we'll be praying for a blessed day tomorrow. And when it gets here, we will know. Have a good evening. Stay blessed. Be careful and watch who you call your what? Friend. Remember love, peace, and happiness. God bless. Bye.